so much. And it's weird because, like, there's times when we play, and I'm like, holy fuck, this guy. Wait, sorry, I probably shouldn't swear. Um, holy uh, poop, this uh, kid is really starting to figure it out. But I think he was just a little bit shook today. Like, I think. Mm -hmm. Because this is the first time we've played at, like, an actual, like, big event. Yeah, yeah. yeah I guess he might have been feeling a little bit shook. A little bit, yeah, Plus, but... you kind of really got enough momentum that he was starting to feel the pressure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, that first game, that first game was... Uh, you had it's, complete it's funny, control. It's funny because, so, for a really long time, whenever we'd play, um, he'd usually win the second game on, uh, on town. But mm -hmm. it had been so long since we had actually played, I was like... What's the stage that he likes? Pokemon. I, I remember it was, uh, and then the second he picked town, I was like, "That's it. That's the one that you really like." Yeah, definitely. So, his oh, sh do we have so Starbur like and Selene? Star Starbur and Selene. Run back Jane. from, uh, run back from Gourmet Clash, if I'm not mistaken. Where uh, after, um, I think it was Gourmet Dash actually. Dash, you're right. Where Dash, Starbur Dash. defeated Infinity, Zippel. or no, Infinity, Infinity the Infinity yeah. one. Right, it was yeah. Stixer who beat. Stixer who beat. To, yeah, I mixed it up. Anyway, game one here on Stadium. You got the Doctor Mario oh, coming we got out. You know, check me if I'm wrong, but I don't think this gentleman has a uh, has a PhD. I could be wrong. I just I don't think he. he, I don't think he you know what? He's a prodigy if he does, because of how young he is. I know, right? But uh, you know, Starber really really sick with his character. Like definitely, uh, he's got the movement. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I hate Dr. Mario. I, I don't honestly, I don't blame you. He's annoying. Yeah, no, because here's the thing. He's a he's a bad character. Oh, what's up, buddy? Unfortunate SD there. See, from I hate this character because he's very bad, but he also is he has a lot of Mario's toolkit, so you can't. And he's stronger than him, so you have to play annoying if you're gonna play against him. For sure, man. Yeah. I mean, you know, if if Doc is SDing like that, then it definitely helps a lot. Yeah. And Salim yeah. not getting that falling up air. And you know, Celine also hit. another very, very strong, uh, strong friend. In my opinion, the best, at least the best solo PT that we got. I, mean, I know Zyra still, uh, still dabbles in the trainer, but uh, I think if we're going ball, going by like solo means, yeah, I think it's, I think it's fine. But yeah, this, uh, this will be interesting because I know that uh, Starber, another player, definitely been on the. Oh my wow, God! Nice read of the air dodge. I was totally that ready was for disgusting. an upbeat after that down tilt, but no. He Starber still keeping it close after an early SD. And the thing is, your your doc, you can make up this percent in one string. For sure. The damage output of this character is it's quite all, big. Are you dead? But can he save himself from this jab block? Now off stage, dangerous spot for Doc. Especially against Yama. Yeah. And, and there you have it. It's just he's got so much end lag on that down B. He once he uses it, it's just rough from yeah. there. You just hit him, and he's dead. He's, and again, like Starber, you know, a fantastic player in his own right, but he's. I'm not gonna say he's held back by his character because he's great with Doc, but. Oh wow! Why wow, that is so brave? Why are you, why are you as talk edge guarding? Uh -oh. Well, he definitely needs oh to make it happen God. here because that Did practically that, a ladder. Was that was that three hits zero to death? I I don't know if that was three hits zero to death, but it was definitely three hits in that string to finish off Starber in game one. There, that was rough. That now, was, Starber does play some other characters, I believe. I was I'm about to say he's now. He's got the Richter. He's got the K Rule, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'm not so sure about K Rule, but he's got Richter. He's got Byleth. I've seen Me Sword Fighter. Yeah. I've seen oh, well, he was, he's from Durham. I've seen Roy. Yeah. I've seen really? Terry. I've seen Me Brawler. This guy's pockets run deep. However, yeah. he likes the Doc bad characters. Is his favorite. <laughs> I could be honest. He likes the bad characters. I, like, that's why when you said Roy, I was so surprised. Like what? He plays a good character. He, he, I, I've at least seen it tried once. <laughs> yeah. No. No, I agree with you. This Not kid, often this, though. It's, it's got rare. some big pockets. So Roy was like deeper in the pocket, but he likes Doc. He likes playing as Doc. Doc is. I wouldn't say a soul main for him, but it's the one he feels most comfortable and most confident with. And that's kind of his struggle. If Doc isn't working, now what, right? Pokemon, see, Pokemon. He's probably thinking about that right now. Yeah, see, honestly, I'm of the belief that at this point, just play whatever character you enjoy most, you know? Like, that depends. I mean, if you really want to win and this isn't working, you might want to consider changing or not. I don't know. Who knows? At any one, so many characters are viable just from the crazy stuff they can do alone. Yeah. It's hard to really get as oppressed in this game as characters could get oppressed in a game like Smash 4. Oh yeah, definitely. Because like in Smash 4, it's like maybe yep. once a year there'd be a low tier that made an upset. But like nowadays, it's like once, Usually, a, once a tournament you see some random character making an upset. Exactly. So, Starber I, taking some time on this character select screen. You can yeah. tell he is thinking, dude, who do I go? That was kind of rough. And admittedly, I yes it was. He I got edge guarded. He, I think he's going Byleth. I think it might be Byleth. Who's it going to be? Or so he he going the to the dock? Or is he going to the dock? Doc, who's Where is Doc anyway? This is exciting. Who's he going to be? Shulk? No way. I've never seen this before. There's no way. 
There's no <laughs> way. No, no, it was a Terry that he just lost. I was gonna say, because Celine did just lose to a Terry. Maybe he's gonna... No, uh, is he... Sticking with Doc. Is he? Yeah. yeah. All right. You know what? This is the second time I've seen this today. He goes around the character's like screen and lands back boom. at Doc, because that's where his soul lies! That's the way to do it, man. You know, like I said, I've said it before. You play whatever character you enjoy. Like, I think, at least... Nowadays, you know, there's... I mean, again, freaking uh, Peanut with Little Mac almost beat MKLeo like two weeks ago. Just like, exactly. could you imagine how, like, just the internet would have exploded if that had happened? Is it more than usual. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, off stage, can he avoid the oh, center? Oh, yes, he does. Starbird is also very good at adapting, though. It's good, it's yeah, good if, he, if he knows what's the fix, then he'll definitely be doing a lot of a better job. And percents are kind of close. But wow, he got deleted by that vine whip. Not much to, not much to fix there, but. <laughs> yeah, that was. I was not ready for that. That was a jump scare. Yeah. Was, uh, you're not kidding. <laughs> Like I said, both of these players, you know, very, very strong with their, uh, with their characters. But I think you're, we're really just seeing, you know, a, t a tale of two tier lists here. He went for it all there. Salim switches to Charizard at low percent. Not sure why he kind of stuck with it for a bit there, but scored a low percent. Makes a lot more sense to rack up a good amount of damage. Oh. ivysaur has been doing a pretty good job as well, but let's see. This is smart on Starburst's part. Oh, Not no. spending his jump. Oh, oh, no, the train! I don't know if Salim oh, did that on purpose, God. but that was really smart if he did. It, yeah, if he did, that was genius. Starburst has been smart not using his jump, but the trade sent him too low for him to recover even with his jump. God, you know, it's... it's... It's such a shame, you know, because we're, we're, we're really seeing the difference between playing a bottom tier and a top tier. And yes, I do think Pokemon Trainer is top tier. Well, at least Starbird is on the board here with this that trip. up smash. But the first it, stock, but it's a it little too rough. Too late. On his last stock now, edge guard from Ivysaur! He wants it. He wants to end this with some style points. I mean, for sure. See, when is that it? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, you totally knew that was the day what was one. coming <laughs> after that. That's, oh! it. That's it, yeah. And Salim gonna Burps take that with range. a 2-0. Very good on Salim. You saw the Razor Leaf earlier on the other side of the stage. You knew that was the confirm waiting to happen. Hits it on the other side anyway. Oh. And like I said, I think that was probably to make it out loser's side, if I'm not mistaken. Like, this was part of the loser's well, side bracket? I suppose in theory we could just pull up the bracket and take a look. Well, if you said that Salim lost to a Terry like today, did, then yeah. that would make sense. I don't know who Starber lost to. I recall him having a close set with Token. Not sure who won that. <laughs> yeah. I believe Toad. Toad.